I come back, we will do a very, very lovely dinner, huh? I promise you that. Okay, is all right. Don't worry, when you come back, I will prepare a delicious food for you. I believe you, baby. <laughs> I will prepare a delicious food for you. I believe you, baby. Just take care of the house. <laughs> oh, no, I'll let you know. Okay. Hello? Stella? How are you doing? Follow me to where? Stella, look, I've told you. Forget all these places you're suggesting I should go because of my childlessness. My husband is not even in support of it. I believe in God that God will bless us with a child. Yes. Of course, I really appreciate you. <laughs> yes, my dear, yes. I'm strong, I'm fine, okay? Yeah, I'm super strong. I believe that one day God will perfect it. I believe you answer my prayer like he answers Hannah. Thank you, my dear friend. I really appreciate it, okay? <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. Uh, definitely. I didn't know, but whenever you come around, you know, I will extend my greeting to my husband. Yeah, I would love to see you. All right. Okay, okay. Bye. Okay, so how much is this I'm going to send to you? Uh, 250,000. Okay. But oh, while coming, I saw a fridge very close to the store there. Oh, you mean the one down there? Yeah, the one down That's there. Not, no, it's not the model you need. Well, that's not the model you requested now. The one you requested will be coming in by next weekend. Alright, so give me, okay, I have, can I transfer the money? Yeah, my details now. You're in a big boy now. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to go to the city. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Mama, don't you have phone to call him and tell him what was so ever you to tell him? I don't want to call him on phone. Meanwhile, if he sees you in his house, he will know how urgent this is. Mama, you like making things complicated. Instead of you calling him on phone, you prefer sending him to the city. Mm, anyway, I don't have transport fare. Mm -mm. There is never a time you have transport fare. I'll give you transport, eh? Your food is ready. Then I'll go back when you see Kankeni. Jobless. Line. 
What is this now? This number have been calling me for some days now. And when I pick, you wouldn't talk. Anyway, I know what to do. I just have to block you. Just to block you. What nonsense. sense of this. She should have called me. You know how bad our roads are, you know what I mean? Ah. Well, I don't know for her, but she said it's very urgent. I mean, very urgent. It's okay, I've heard you, I've heard you, I've heard you. Don't worry, I've heard you. Um, Thank you. No problem. Okay, you can go and stay with the boys at the shop. Okay, brother. If I want to leave, we'll leave together. Okay, thank you. to send me back home because I haven't paid my school fees this time. Oh, have you said anything like that? Have you told, about, told us about the school fees before? Yes, Papa. It is true. She has been reminding us of just that we forgot about it. Don't worry. I'll call Auntie Jane to send the money to you. Okay, first of all, it's alright. Uh, you can go in, change your clothes, eh? Yeah? Okay. Pick your food there.
And you're welcome. Thank you, babe. Auntie. Daniel, how are you? I'm fine. My mama didn't tell me that you are coming. The same way I was surprised when I saw him. I'm telling you. How is mama? Mama is fine. And she's, she's the reason why I'm here. Hope all is well. And I wouldn't know, but she wants me urgently. Hope everything is fine. Don't worry, Auntie. She's fine. Everything is fine. I don't know. All right, honey, go and freshen up while I show Daniel to the guest room. Is that right? Mama, is this the room for the urgency? Is this? I have to close my shop, cancel all my appointments for me to get here. And you are telling me all this nonsense. Mama, Mama. What I am saying is not nonsense. Eh? What is wrong in taking another wife? Do you want to remain childless forever? Now, let me ask you. When you see your mates with their kids, don't you feel somehow? I don't. Mama, I don't feel anyhow. Mama, God himself will give us children at his own time. When will that time come? When will that time be? Six whole years and there is nothing to show for it. Eh? I'm not asking you to divorce your wife. Just take another wife that will give you children. Ooh, Mama, can you please imagine? Can you hear yourself? Oh, you want to turn me into a polygamy threat? Wow, well, Mama, sorry to disappoint you. Let me tell you, I love Jen with every fight by me and nothing will make me take a second wife. Not even in this child situation. Mama, please, next time you call me, call me for something important and not this nonsense. If this is the reason you ask me to come, don't ask me to come again. Bye bye. Uh, yes, you have. How could you give you? When you don't give you, we have to Can you carry it? If we are not. Mama, I have a long one with the one. Wow. Mama, wow. One packet that you want to tell me. Counseling I talked to you about. My dear Stella, I thought we are done over this issue. My husband and I are not interested. Don't you think God can answer your prayer through our mommy, Prophetess Mary? My dear, I'm a Christian and I believe in God. All these prophets and prophetesses, they are fake. Just few are original. Don't worry, God's time is the best. Besides, my husband is not complaining. Like seriously? Ah. Are you waiting for him to complain before you know what to do about it? Anyway, I've done my own as your friend. The rest is left for you. I really appreciate your, your concern, okay? I appreciate her. <laughs> stop, stop. Let me see. Uh, it's another one. David, David, you are here. I 
told you to always sleep inside, not outside. Hey, my God. David, you are burning with fever. Eh? Why didn't you come and tell me? Look at you. Hey. Let me go and get drops for you, oh. You go. Please, I need some drugs for my son. He's feeling feverish. Okay. Okay, how old is he? After the he's over 12 years old. Okay. Well, I guess you said he's, he's, um, he's, having, he's, he's feeling feverish, right? Yes. Yeah, it should be malaria. So you give him okay. one of these, two of these. Then later at night, you give him two of these, okay? My daughter, Mama, it's David. He's sick. I got some drugs for him. There is no point in coming down to the village to see him. Besides, if you need any other thing for his treatment, just let me know. Won't you come back to the village and see him? Hmm? You don't need to stress yourself, okay? Oh, what me? Why me? Why all this misfortune? Where did I go wrong? 
Yeah. Oh God. I'm losing it. Why me? Come to my earth. Help me. Oh God. Just look at me. Am I worthy to be called your woman? What will I show off that I'm a woman? My mother-in-law. It's on my neck. God, please console me. Have mercy. Restore it. Just last one. Just please. Let me have my peace. I don't understand. Hope everything is fine. Everything is okay. You know, Mama, Mama, Mama was actually missing me. I wanted to see you last week. Mm. Mm. Last year, last year. Please tell me, what did you discuss with her? What's the conversation all about? Nothing exceptional. I mean, she just wanted to see me. Probably, listen, Mama, you know, Mama, she can drink things. Probably she dreamt uh, that I was there last time. I wanted to see yeah. that. It's okay. You don't want to tell me. Fine. Come on. It's okay. <laughs> At least now she got still one or two things. Her audience is too much. Why is it that every child that has to be? Is it not time for the business? Good afternoon, David. Why is your face like this? You look so sad. Did anybody flog you in this car? No, but some boys probably have this on my way back home. Who are they? And what did they say to you? They called me a bastard and pushed me away. Come and see that. Huh? Is that why you're sad? Your father is here, so you are not a bastard. You see, uh, David, those boys were only trying to pick a fight with you, but thank God they did not give him to them. Mm -hmm. Let me see the boy and the boy. Um, don't worry. Tomorrow, I will make a report to the uh, school authorities. Okay? Mm -hmm. Therefore, Go in there, move your uh, uniform and have a rest, okay? I'm coming. Mm. Mm. Are you as shocked as I am today? Exactly. Do you think we can keep this from David forever? Of course, what are we supposed to do? That is what Jane wants. If there's anybody that can explain this thing to him, it must be his mother, Jane. That's it. Just to think of what she passed through years ago. Ah, come off that. It is in the past. We should be talking about now. Meanwhile, let's discuss something else. Can they even do no more than that? Jane? <laughs> Is that why she wanted to see you, Jenny? I'm telling you, I, I don't know what's wrong with my mother. I don't know how on earth she came up with such a stupid suggestion. But I don't think that she's wrong anyway. I, I, I am seeing that she's being concerned about you. Even at that, even at that, a thing my father never did. Let me be honest with you. 
I know we don't have kids for now. But I believe that kids will come. At God's own time, I know I worship the God of miracles. So at his own time, kids will come. I don't have any doubts. Yeah, I like it when you said you worship the God of miracles. But just understand that no parent would like to see their child in this kind of situation. Nevertheless, yeah, God's miracle is possible all the time. And you are, now you're talking. Now you're talking. So, <clears throat> Come in, the door is open. Mama, you're no, welcome. Tell us, see, Mama. Mama, didn't tell us that you are coming. So I should announce to the whole world that I'm coming to my son's house. Where am I? Ujumwa, Madam. Ah, Mama, that's not what I need. Mean. Um, meanwhile, you got a house help for us. We didn't need it. It's a house help. Ujungwa is the beautiful woman that I brought for my son. That will give him children. I guess he didn't tell you. Eh? Ogwaroi. Is this, is this a joke or what, Mama? What are you talking about? How can you bring another woman into your son's house? Have you forgotten I'm married to Kevin? And what is there to show for it? Are there children walking around in this house? Eh? I have come with the solution. You should be thanking me. Would you want? Go inside and keep your bag. Hey, take one to go. I will request no who I am. Wasting your time with this magic girl here. Not a village girl. Will you shut up that your mouth? How dare you talk back at me in my own house? Would you, mom? I've told you to stop wasting your energy on this log of wood that is here. Eh? She will be the one that will leave this house for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Calvin, what's going on, here? Mama? Eh? No. Yeah, welcome. You didn't tell me you were coming. What's going on? Talk to me, man. What's the problem? It's not your mother. She what? also came with a wife for you. She came with what? You are kidding me. And what's going on? Who is this? And what's she doing on my on my on my chair? My son. This is Uju. Eh? The beautiful lady that will give birth to children for you. And eh? stop this love that. Mama, please! Have... Enough of this joke. I have told you countlessly to stop bringing up this topic. And uh, it's in your interest. If you know I will not do something you and I will regret, you should know. Yes, Hello, sir. hey. You should know my forgot that. Calvin. You should know. You are asking me out of your house. Please. Don't how dare you. Can you leave my house? Because of this witch. Oh my god. I will, I will, I will just. Mama, go. Please. So what? Please go. Okay. No, stop pointing that. Stop doing that. No, don't do that. Come, please. I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry, darling. You know, I, I didn't want to tell you what I discussed with my mother because it would be hard to you. That's why I didn't want to bother to let you know. You don't want me to feel bad, right? I don't want you to feel bad. Did you even think of how I would feel if I got to know about it? Okay, look at what happened today. How I was insulted, humiliated, embarrassed in our own house. Who does that? Come on, come on, come on, Jane. Like I said, I love you so much. Okay, okay, did you see how I talked to my mother? Did you see how I pushed both of them out? Were you not there? The plan deal. Whenever it goes with your mom, you side her. When it comes to me, you side me. If you want to take another wife, just say it. Go on and and, and take another wife. Why are you saying this? After you're not the first person. 
Come on. Are you, are you, are you, are you seriously saying this? Are you doing saying this? You saw how I, I, I almost pushed my I, I pushed down before you. Yeah, you're saying this. Come on, baby. Come on. I love you. Please. That she's so busy. But what about Christmas and Easter period? I'm a little girl, but she doesn't miss me a lot. Um, baby. Don't worry. One day, she will come back home. Both of you will meet each other in here. Meanwhile, remember what I used to tell you? You are eating and eat hmm? okay. So eat your Baby, baby. You can only eat a good I'm only trying to prove a solution to your brother's problem. And that your brother is not even helping matter. He's always scattering my plans. Mama, has he ever asked you for a solution? Mama, can't he just allow Kevin and his wife to live in peace? Or is he the only man on earth to be childless? God forbid that any child that I bore be childless. Am I childless? Did I not give birth to you and Kelvin? I don't blame you. You're still a kid in Makwanonkanako. Then stay away from Kevin and his marriage. Yes, sir. I say you, you, you should stay away from Kevin and his marriage. After all, you're not God. May we have kids in God's time. God's time. Yes, Mama. When we God's time be. <laughs> My mommy taught me well. I know. And I know your favorite. So, honey, mm -hmm. I'll be traveling to China by next weekend, you know. Traveling? Of course. Next weekend? No, next weekend. Don't oh. worry, come on, honey. I know what you're thinking, but I will not stay for a long time there. I'll come back probably in the next two or three weeks, you know. I want to go and get some shipments from China. I need to bring a lot of containers into this country. My customers on my neck. Please, don't worry. So how long would this one take? I just told you, two or three weeks. But you weren't, you weren't listening to me. Two or three weeks is going to be okay. Relax, huh? Okay. No problems. Mm. My God will protect and guide you. Amen. <laughs> Sorry, it's up, it's up. I will be missing you. Don't worry, don't miss me too much. Let me come in here. Hmm? It's not that easy, no? Why don't you remember me and bless me like Anna did Why don't you bless me like Anna? Don't bless me like Anna. Why is that what? Why me? Why me? Let me 
mess with this one. I'll be grateful. <laughs> I regret getting married. Putting Kelvin in this kind of situation. Oh God. Answer my prayers. Answer my prayers. I beg of you. <laughs> <laughs> in your word, you say that what if I can bury the man in your land? Please let it be fruitful once again. <laughs> you gave me one when I don't need it. Now I need it. I need it. <laughs> Kelvin has not for once disrespected me until he got married to that witch. I don't think my son is in his right senses because there's no Igbo man that will be happy to be childless. There is something diabolic in this case. I think she must be using charm on my son. Mm -mm. She will never succeed because I will destroy those charms. Last time you got so much about headaches, so I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Go back and take care of yourself, eh? No, baby. I trust to, to see you to the airport. I know, but health first. Just go back and take care of yourself, eh? Listen, I know you have a problem. You are thinking that I'll go there and spend so much time. No, no, no. You just go there. One, two, or three weeks and back. So, please. No, I'll be missing you. I'll miss you more. Please, mm -hmm. just try to take care of yourself, man. Okay. Are you? Alright. You insist. It's okay. Michael! Sir! Hope everything is good. Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Thank you. Alright. Sir, please. Yes, sir. Alright. Stella, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine too. Um, please, can you help me send the number of the plumber that helped fix your sink? Mine is leaking. Uh, oh, I noticed mine this morning. Oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. <laughs> so, my husband, he traveled. Yeah, I know, I know. Please do. Send the number. It's very, very urgent, okay? All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Bye. What do I do? How will I face Jane if I eventually meet her? Something might have happened between both of us that night. The baby could be mine, as she insisted that day. I think I have to do something 
now that I'm in the village. over the birth of a new set of grandchildren. Eh? And my son has been bewitched by his wife. Jane has practically refused to give me grandchildren. I must do something about this. Hmm. This is empty. It needs to be washed. It's empty, but it means enough to me. So just let it be there. You are looking at something to eat. I'm hungry. Baby, please. Give me a chance to explain myself. I, I... Please, give me something to eat. Please, I'm so hungry. Give me something to eat, please.
Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm saying. I, I, I went out in the morning, but before I left, I locked this door, thinking that she went for a grocery market. But on coming back again, I, I was the one that still opened this door. She's nowhere to be found. In your house. Have you called her? I've been calling her since her line has been unavailable. But probably I should keep trying. I should keep trying. There's no way. You have to sit down. Please sit down.
my daughter. That's an okay, I don't know. Old age is not all about number of years experience, but experience. I need to okay, you can get your feet for one another. I not you. I and your mother I've been observing you. Is everything all right between you and your husband? Nothing, Papa. My daughter, you can confide in us. You suddenly came back home without notice. We are worried if there is something that is going to go to you and your husband. Are you sure? I am asking you this because uh, there are difference between a Gucci and Hatalata. When a small child is looking to the back, that child is feeling hurt. But when an old man looks into the car, he won't have four for getting up or four for cooking. Up or there's no problem. But kind of like a poor Anya of the money in the air. Papa, if I don't visit, you complain. If I visit, the same thing. Um, wow. No problem. Just that they are worried that oh, yeah. something is wrong with you. You are fine. We are not wanting to come home, so we are happy. not a problem. I am wondering why she should leave my house without my notice. I mean, it's unfair. Sorry if I may ask, did you both have a misunderstanding? Because Jane and I know we do no such thing, without any reason. As if you knew what she did. Sorry? Never mind. In case she tries contacting you, please let me know. Huh? Alright, I will. Thanks for coming. Bye.
Can you help me solve this question in particular? Do I look like a teacher? I you not the one do your assignment so far. I've been the one do the assignment, but I don't understand this one in particular. Who has the sense of paying your school fees if you don't understand your assignments? Then close your book. When you go to school tomorrow, give it to your teacher. But what? Get out of my side! Mama! 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 About David, your son. Oh, Mama, Mama, please, please, if it's about David, please, please, I. Oh, oh, Mama. No matter the way you text him or you see him, he's still your son, your flesh and blood. You cannot deny that fact. I understand how you feel. But that doesn't give you the right to hate him because it is not his fault. I know, Mama. But going down my memory lane, I still feel horrible whenever I look at him. He reminds me of the hell I went through many years ago. It is still fresh, Mama. My daughter, I know. But there is nothing we can do about it. Just live your life. How can I live my life when it's really my marriage? How? I shouldn't have married in the first place. My daughter, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Mama, what have I done wrong? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, why me? Mama, why me? Mr. and Mrs. Shinyelubu. My parents are not around though. Only I and my aunt. I will leave them call. Okay, please. Jane, you are home. house. I'm surprised too. How did you manage to show your, show your disgusting face here? I'm surprised to see you at home. I only came to discuss with your family. Alright? To talk about what? I came to talk about what happened between me and you in the past. That's why I came. Chekube, to talk about what happened how many years ago. Are you insane? Now the last time I checked, you are my ex. And that is where you belong. Well, Jane, I know you are mad at me. I know I have wronged you so well. And that is why I have come to apologize. All right? I know I have denied you everything. I also abandoned you and David, my son. For many years, I hurt you. I know that, but I have come to make amends. All right? I'm here. 
Chikube. I'm here. You say you want to make amends? Yes. There is no need to apologize or to make amends. Now listen and listen carefully. I don't want to see you again. Yes. Now leave. See, I'm not really here to pick quarrel with you. I'm here for us to sort out things, okay? That is why I'm here, please. Chakube, leave! Again, it's me. It's me. Chakube, get out! Get out! After how many years? Oh, God. After the pain, the agony, you cost me so many years ago, and you're here to make amends. You know the pain you cost me. Conversation I had earlier on. Is that what you learned in school? Eh? Why do you dislike me more? Why? Or do you regret giving birth to me? David, a lot is happening to me right now. I am thinking a lot. Don't add yours to mine. Please leave my room. Leave my room! Ask her. I woke up the next day. I didn't see her. I searched for everywhere in the house. I couldn't see her. So I said, let me come here. Because I knew that once she's not in my house, she'll be here. I'm getting here. There she is. I don't understand. Jane, my daughter, even if you have any disagreement with your husband, that wouldn't make you to leave your home. Mm. Really? Come on. I mean, what's the problem? Oh, oh God. Let me let me be honest with you. I have really missed you. 
and I want us to go back to the house. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, I want to assume that probably you wanted to like come and see your family, your mother and your father, and you've done that, so let's go home. I've missed you. Come on, baby. You know how it is now. Come on, eh? I don't know why you're telling her, but I don't care. She's coming with me, you know that, mama. Kelvin, how long will this place be here? I thought you were forgiving me. Did you say forgiving? That was the hardest thing in my life I've ever witnessed. Now let me tell you, it has to be there until I say otherwise. Please, forgive me. I felt guilty for what happened and that is why I left. Same reason I had to bring you back here. Let me tell you my dear, you cannot run away from your sins. I have to bring you back to face your sins. That's why I brought you back actually. So deal with it. What this now? I thought he has forgiven me. That's why he brought me back. Oh, oh. I am guilty. I cannot control it, but I lost it. And my husband's attitude is killing me. Are you expecting him to be happy with you? Are you? No! Let him give you cup. Virtuous woman. You don't understand. Do you know after that incident, he made love to me. Hey, I don't, I don't understand this man. Are you serious? I'm dead serious, Jimmy. I am speechless. I couldn't figure out what was in his mind. That is why I left the next day. He came looking for me, yet I came with him. Yet, his attitude hasn't changed. I understand how he feels, but I suggest you give him some time. He will come around. I know, he will. Why did you all deceive me? Why? What are you talking about? Who deceived who? Mama, stop pretending. Why did you and Papa hide the fact that Auntie Jane is my mother? Why? Makagene Kwan. Yeah. Where did you hear this from? Mama, I heard everything. So, Jenny was not lying when she told me about Jokube's visit. He should thank his stars that I wasn't around when he came. But Mama... My dear, just take everything the way Jane wants it. Hmm? She has a reason for that. Moreover, Jane doesn't hate you. Just that a lot came in during your bed. Hmm? Okay, we so don't worry.
Papa, good, 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 good afternoon. What are you doing? Good afternoon. Hold your greetings. What are you doing here? How dare you showed up here? Mama, hear me out now. Yeah? Hear me out. I'm not here to make trouble. I'm here for peace. I am here for peace. Ah, thunder. Hmm. Thunder from where I did not know. Blaster you and that your useless peace. You are here for peace. After what you did to my precious daughter. I could go. A bullion, I know. I don't want to know. Oh, for one, I don't want to lie. You have the go. After all you did to her so many years back, you have the audacity, the temerity to be here talking nonsense. Peace. You will see this. Peace. I'm so sorry about what happened in the past. Hey, just hear me out. You know I was immature at that time. And I didn't know how to cope with the situation. And that was why I did what I did. But right now I am here for one reason. Please, let me have Jane and David, my son, back. Hey, please. Is it? Jane and David, my son, I want them back. Who is your son? David! David is not your son. Hey, where? Eh? Tell him. And mind you, Jane is happily married. Uh -huh. Do you hear that? Uh -huh. eh? David, my son. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it not David? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, is he... <laughs> David. David. Why are you here? No, no. Oh. Is that why they sent you? Don't worry. I will give you the money tomorrow to go and pay. Go inside and rest. Yeah. What, Mama? I, I can take care of the school fees. Let me put the bill. Yeah. Don't go there. Don't even mention. You see? Who wanna do I have one concept? And that is just the truth. You see that boy? We've been training him. That means we have been eating before the meeting. So the truth of the matter is this. We can afford anything you want. But, I'm but let me tell you something. Because I think you are forgetting this. Look at that gate. It is closed. It is not locked. Uh, no. Get out. You see the gate. Leave! Get out! Hey. Okay. No problem. That's your story. Then I have email. That's your mom's email. I'm going to take a look at the news. I'm going to take a look at the news. After everything that happened. Ah, why is it like this in this country? What is the problem? Yeah? Well, um, Mr. Kelvin, may the peace of the Lord be with you and your family. And also with your father. You see, from what your wife told me two weeks ago, I can now see that your marriage needs God's intervention. Because the Bible says in Matthew 6, from verse 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing will be added. Mr. Kelvin, my main purpose for coming to your house is to let peace reign between you and your wife. Would you respect father? Did she say that I raised my hand against her? No. Did she say that I abused her verbally? 
No. So what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Please, Kelvin. Let's remove that plate. Each time I see it, it reminds me of the incidents that happened that fateful day. Let me tell you, leave that plate there. There's a purpose it's serving. It signifies something, so you better leave it there. Please. You better have that into your grazing hair. Mr. Kelvin. Why are you so wicked? Don't be this heartless to your wife. You have to forgive. Because to err is human. But to forgive is divine. Frankly, Father, I am speechless at this era. Rather rude remarks. Yes, of course, they're quite true. Because ordinarily there's no way you should condone that rubbish that she committed. Do you know the enormity of what she did? Of course you don't, because as a reverend father, you guys are not married. I'm even wondering how you have that ability to come and counsel some married people. It's not possible, but let me go there. Do you know why I'm respecting you? Because of this your sultan. Oh yes! Otherwise I would have asked you to show you your back. But let me not go that far. Do you understand that? Please, Father, just watch your tongue. Please. Mr. Kelvin, yes, may the Lord have mercy on you. You see, even the flesh loses control by driving us to commit sin. Well, Mr. Kelvin, be wise in the peace of the Lord. With you. I'm also with you, Father. Calvin, please. Please, I thank you. Let's remove that plate. Why? It hurts me each time I see it. What? You see that plate? It signifies something. Just let it be there. If there's any other thing you want us to do, fine. Just let this plate be there. So, um, Obi, I'm Obi. Wait, wait, let me ask you. So what you are telling me now is that all these names here have not paid. But some have paid, sir. Just few remaining. Okay, we'll not so much. See what you do, right? <clears throat> do a thorough compilation. Let me have the names of those that have paid here and those that have not paid here. Do you understand? So that at, at, a, at a glance, one has to really, really see it immediately. Okay, sir. Did you go to bank? No, sir. The manager did. Okay. disturbing, telling me to get another woman for a wife, but I said no, because I didn't want Jane to feel as if I am giving up on her. Do you get so? I don't know. Oh, uh, well, um, I don't think, uh, in fact, I'm short of word on this, but I think that she feels remorseful about her, her action. Let me ask you, Steve, let me ask you. If you were in my position, would you forgive her easily? I'm just asking. Take time and make the right decision. Calvin? Yes. Well, I don't really know if now is the right time to talk about this. What is it? What happened years back when we were much, much younger? 
God, sir. It's been going through my mind and, and please. I thought we had an agreement not to talk about our past. Don't even go there. Let us move on and leave the past with the past. Please. Let, let me not talk about that. Jane, let me tell you, there is something I've been trying to understand, but it's been really, really hard for me to understand. I've not been able to fathom it. What is it? Your ways with men these days. What's happening? I beg your pardon. Jane, we're still talking about the one you committed. And you are still committing another one on top of that one? Is that madness or something? What's wrong with you? Kelvin, what is it? What is it again? Okay, hold on. Fine. The man you slapped today? The man you slapped today? Who is he? Who is he? You're not talking. You're dumb now, right? You're dumb! It would be better if you don't get to know him. God. Where are you getting your nerves from? You have the boss to tell me this? Oh, I see. You've grown wings, Abby. You've grown wings, right? Jen! You're looking for my trouble. Kelvin, I have been suffering emotionally these days. I need peace of mind. Is that too difficult to ask? Jen. You brought it upon yourself, so deal with it. You help me. Daughter 
Let me give you this warning for your daughter. Tell your daughter to get rid of those charms she's using on my son. Since she cannot give him children, eh? she resorted to using charm to tie him so that he can't go and look for another wife. Opia? My daughter can never use charms on your son. Your son loves my daughter. That's why both of you, both of them are still together. Love or no love? Tell your daughter that since she cannot give my son children, she should give way for other woman to come and give him a child. I am just sorry for you. Sorry for yourself. You are a woman. Yeah. You don't even know tomorrow. Abia. How can you say this kind of a thing? Oh, she shop work at me earlier. Hmm? I, I am, I am not going. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, Abia, Bawala, no. keep calling me a bastard and it hurts. I hate it. Well, sorry about that, my boy. Your mates do not need to call you a bastard anymore, okay? You know why? Because I, your father, is here for you. 
All I need do now is sort out one or two things with your mom, Jane, and then forge ahead. But until then, please, do not tell anybody about our meeting. All right. Keep it a secret, okay? Okay. That's my boy. Keep it. It's your food. I'm stressing myself. For some weeks now, Jane's line is unavailable. I cannot get hold of her. Kelvin also is not picking his calls. Eh? <laughs> See, there is no problem. Stop all this. If there is problem, they would have called, or somebody else would have called on their behalf. There is no problem. Huh? I just hope that everything is fine with her. Just hope so. Everything is fine. Come, come. Uh, that this in the kitchen. I don't know. Won't it boom? Go and check it. Huh? Let me see. Oh no, I'll be back. So, okay. Am I supposed to go? Say, let, if I, let's stay here. So that, give me, let, let me call. Give me that phone. Let me call. Let me call. Go, go and check. You are just supposed to check. Let me call. Let me call.
don't know what I'm hearing. I tried my best to see my girl. I say uh, it was a miracle, but the truth is that I nearly ran him over. Guinea! Frankly, and I said, let's go to the hospital. He said, no, that we should come home. I'm getting here, it's here, so I'm so surprised. Did anything happen to you? Is there any part of your body pulling you? <sighs> it's okay. Go inside. Eat your food. Then rest, eh? Ah, and uh, in law, what happened? Uh, why is it that you are not picking your call all this while? Is there anything the problem? <sighs> but can I sit down? Of course, it's your home. You can sit down. It's your home. You know, the truth is that sometimes in our lives, we may decide to <coughs> be alone. So I actually thought that probably that's one of the times that she wants to be alone and I had to like let her be. But I'm getting here now to discover that she's not here. I'm surprised. I was thinking that she, she, she was here. What are you talking about? <laughs> My daughter is not here. And I've been calling her line since two weeks now. But it wasn't going. Uh, huh. I'm a Nanya, and Elena, Nancalo. How do you mean giving her some time to be alone? Uh, if there is any problem you are having in that family that we did not know, why don't, us, why don't you let us know? Are there any problem? Oh, God. Let me, I want to be honest with you. The truth is that, um, like, you know, I don't know. What are, what, what are you talking about? Man, I just told you that I thought she was there. I don't, I don't know. She left your house and you didn't even care to search for her. Somebody you call your wife. Yeah? Hmm. Is it because she has not given you a child? No. Why is that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God, why is saying this now? I mean, you're trying to, you're trying, you're, uh, you are, it's like, uh, you know, blackmail. Huh? Hmm. You know that I love, I lo you know I love Jane with all my heart. You know that? So I don't understand what you're saying. I said, <laughs> uh, uh, Make it not be you have used half of it for. If anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to her, nothing, no, 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 no. nothing will happen to her. Please, please, no. My only daughter. I know where. This is familiar. He is part of the So, sit down. Let us tackle this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was in their house. I went to their parents' house. I didn't see her. As we speak, their parents are saying that I used 
They are better for money ritual. <laughs> are you laughing? Is that how you will console me? <laughs> Kelvin. Eh? Hey, go to again. God has definitely fought this battle. Okay, for ya. <laughs> they are listening to me. That lady left voluntarily on her own. So you don't need to bother yourself. For all I care, her parents may say whatever they want to say. But let me tell you. You don't need to bother yourself. She voluntarily left. So just go and get yourself a wife that will give you children. Look at what they're saying. Hmm. I should go and get. Oh my god. Mama, I ask again, is that how you will console me? Kelvin. God has fought this battle! Ah, you should be rejoicing! Please stop talking to me. Stop talking Kelvin. to me. I'm telling you something serious and you are laughing and almost dancing. Listen to me, this is the right time for you to get a wife that will give you children. Get what? <laughs> In fact, you now have time to come and finish your house. All we should be thinking about or talking about is how to find our daughter. Hmm. See, eh, if anything happens to my daughter, Kelvin will receive it very hot for me. Nothing will happen to her. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. I am not mad at and that daughter is my Ugo, which is Eagle. Eagle flies to London, Britain, uh, Germany, everywhere, and come back safely. My daughter, wherever she flies to, she must come back safely. Nothing will happen to her. Uh -huh. Look at her. You see? Hey. I told you nothing will happen to my daughter. The daughter of Chile. Nothing will happen to her. Why am I can you do it? I thank you. My daughter. Oh, you're welcome. Are you okay? Nne. Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey. You're so loving. I'm fine. 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 It's not possible. I know that nothing can happen to my daughter. My daughter, you're welcome. Thank you, Have you seen your daughter? Hey! Thank you. Where have you been all this while? We thought that something bad happened to you. I'm fine, Mama. I just needed some time alone. You know why? I need to rest and tired. Uh -huh. I told you that nothing will happen to me. I'm really If I could not love them, it's the other number. Why am I going to Listen, let me tell you. You need all the time to go and rest. We will talk later. Thank you. Or oh, probably tomorrow morning. Thank you. Yes. 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 The little boy resembles Jen so much. I find it hard to believe that Jen's parents gave birth to him. Come to think of it, I have not heard them say anything about that boy since I got married to Jane. Something is fishy, I can bet you. How do you mean you are going back to your husband's house? See, don't tell me that you are tired of that marriage. Because you choose that man yourself. Nobody did it for you. 
So you cannot tell me that you are not going back. You will go back there. I'm tired. Adia. I'm no more interested. Yeah, the point. What do you mean by that? Kelvin was here yesterday looking for you. Why should you suddenly leave your house just like that? Mama, Papa, like I said, I'm no longer interested in the marriage again. He gets interested in it. Are you really interested? I have caused Kelvin a lot of pain. You both are telling me to go back. Have you forgotten I'm the reason we are childless? After the birth of my son, David, I lost my womb. How do you expect me to, to, to tell Kel Kelvin that I underwent a hysterectomy? I can't do. I can't. What did I hear you say? You did what? Oh, you have a son. David, right? Oh my God. No, 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 hold on. So, now you are a woman without a womb. Oh my God! No, 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 no! This, this is hard to be. I can't believe this. So, Jesus Christ. Kevin, look, I am sorry. I can explain. I don't mean to hurt you. I got married to you because I thought miracle might happen. One, two, three, four, five, six years. You fooled me. Oh my. Have I not warned you not to step your feet into this compound again? Eh? You don't have a place anywhere in this place. You know what you are looking for? You want to know why I am called Umejibwa. By the time I top off your head from your shoulder, you will understand. Hmm. Papa, Mama, it's not what you think. Eh? Allow me a chance to make things right. Please, and Jane, I'm sorry about what happened between me and you in the past. You know it wasn't intentional. But what I want to plead of you, please, let me be with my son for a moment. 
I want to be with my son, David. Please. You must be very stupid. Can you hear yourself? We should give you a chance, right? The day you denied him was the day he ceased to be your son. It's true I made mistakes in the past. But I want to make things right now. Uh, you know, I want Ah, uh, you I just got in there. Yes, sir. And you can do it. Hey! 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 I am supposed to see you. Uh, well, you should be because I did not tell you before now. But the truth is that I, I want to see Jane because I, I want us to talk. I want us to talk. Let us discuss. You would have seen her. But I think you are late. You have come a little bit earlier than now. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. She, is, she not here? My grandson, David, collapsed. And was rushed to the general hospital. The one in the city. Oh my God. David? The one I nearly ran over? Exactly. Oh my God. I'll go. I'll go. I will just come over from there. I need to go. I will be in the hospital right away. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay. Okay, man. David. Welcome. I'm sorry. We have checked our system. Everything is correct. The little boy needs. Lord, urgently. If you and the donor are his biological parents, what is that his name again? Ube. Then the blood would have matched. Doctor, what are you trying to say? Chokube is not his father. No, there is mistake somewhere. It's his father. There is mistake somewhere. Please check very well. It, it's not possible, doctor. There is mistake somewhere. Please. I am ready to bury my mother. Please, Kelvin, what are you doing here? Please, doctor. I want. I, I'm ready to do that now. Is he his father? No, he's my husband. Please, I'm ready to do it. No problem. If you're willing, then follow me. Behind the door, please. Why did Kelvin agree to help with the blood transfusion? After what I did to him? His blood type matched perfectly. Why did the daughter say Chikube might not be David's father? Then who? I am confused. I am lost. Something is wrong. Yes. Because I know Chikube is David's father. Doctor, what about what I asked of you? I know it might sound weird, but the truth is that I am having a very, very strange feeling even though I am married to Jen without any kids, but I'm having this funny feeling. It's quite strange. 
open it and see for yourself. Doctor, what's the meaning of this? I don't understand this. It's 99.9% .9 accurate. I don't know what happened between you and your wife, but David is your son. Doctor, you're kidding me? Are you not? You're kidding me? What? What did I hear you say right now? You are whose father? How is that possible? Eh? I was raped when I was 18 years old. And I got pregnant. There is no way I would have known him then. Can someone explain to me what is going on? I'm not getting it. Please explain. I will explain everything in details. Kelvin, Kelvin, please. I don't need your explanation. I don't in any way. Something is wrong somewhere. Doctor, can you explain something? What is going on here? I don't understand. <laughs> My daughter, what happened? Why are you back? I was trying to come and see you and David at the hospital. How is he doing? Uh, don't tell me you left my son there all by himself. Mama, <laughs> why <wife>, me? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> eh? what is Why it? are you crying? <laughs> I hope nothing has happened to David. David is fine. <laughs> but Kelvin is his father. <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> Come on, Bobo. What? How possible is it in this whole world? What? Oh, no, Papa. <laughs> if hey. I didn't see the face of the person that raped me, definitely not Kelvin. Not Kelvin. <laughs> My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. Come here. Someone will tell me. Please. Come. Please. Let's go. How dare you? <laughs> if you don't live here, I will do something drastic. <laughs> Leave! <laughs> 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 I decided not to tell anybody about this, but the 
who it is now, I think. I don't know, because it's killing me. It's getting me down. Come on, is that how you feel? Talk to me. It was this girl, Juliet by name. I was actually crushing on her. But she wasn't reciprocating it. So, one day, myself and my friend were invited for a birthday party. We went there. I'm getting there. Oh God. What did I say? It was this same Juliet with another guy by name, uh, Jacobe. Yeah, I later got to know that his name was Jacobe. So, I became so upset. Jealousy. There was nothing I could do other than drug their drinks. And when the you know, when the drug took too long of them, my friend and I pushed them inside one room. Oh God. Yes. And while they were in the room, my friend helped me to move the chicken out and I came in and so I'm sorry about what I want to say. I'm so sorry about it. It's not like I am proud of that, but I'm sorry, I went. So my friend and I went out and brought the said Chekobe and brought him back to that place to make it look as if he was the person that did the raping. Oh my god. After that we left the party. Yes. So much later. Much later, I I got to know that it wasn't actually Juliet that I read, that it was Jane. That's I, Jane. Now Maria. <laughs> and, and the end product of the rape was David. I don't know. Let me tell you, let me tell you, the one that is telling me the most was that when she wanted to give breath to Debbie. There were complications. It made her to lose her womb. So I, as a matter of fact, am the reason she is homeless. And when she came into my house, I was treating her like a, 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 a nobody. My mother didn't have issues too. My mother was a talk. My mother was a talk and tough guy. Now tell me. Now tell me. We share for you. Stop. You must be drinking this. I'm going to help you. I promise. But tomorrow I'm going to come to Jane. I'll talk to her when we are. I understand that. I love her so much. I do. Really? I'm not asking her to forgive me because I know it's not possible. But just let her know that I love her so much. And what I did, I did when I was very, very young. Please. Please stop drinking. It's a very bad. Oh, 
run into techniques. You see, no matter what, think about that your son. He needs a father. He needs father in law. And you cannot deny him that. I don't want to know or think about what he did. I know he did a very unacceptable thing. But today, he is your cousin. So take time, my dear. There are no two ways about it. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the My dear, listen. You don't need to take such food. It's too expensive. It is too late. To say a thing like that. Think about that, your son. He needs a father. He needs fatherly love. And you cannot deny him that. No matter what. I know he has committed an unacceptable crime. He did a very wrong thing, but then he see your husband. It is late. My dear, think, take time, reason well. I know you are. Do you know how it feels to be wombless at that age? I had a lot of complication during David's prayer, which I wish that you take me away. I know he's my husband, yes, but I will never forgive him. I won't. My daughter, listen. If you want to sleep on the mat of the past, you will never remember to wake up. Let it pass. Let it pass. First, time. it is over. A lot of people were not opportune to marry, but you are opportune to marry that same man. Allow him to carry his wife. But I can't forget. I can't forget your name. <laughs> Let us be consistent. It's very hard for her to accept it. But whatever decision she makes, support her. Yeah, it will be good to support her, but not in all decisions. Because uh, uh, the agreed person doesn't know what to do, you understand? So if she makes a wrong decision, we correct her because we are elders. What? How possible is this? You got a girl pregnant. Eh? And that girl is Jane. Now she had a son for you. I don't understand. What is really going on? Mama, I have eventually come to terms with the fact that nobody's about mistake. It was a mistake, Mama. It was a mistake. I never knew. I never knew at all it was Jane. I find it so hard to believe, just like your humble self. Hey, this girl has seen rubbish in my hand. To even imagine that I am the one responsible for her not to be able to give birth. Mama, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I didn't know about this. I treated her so badly. Eh? I never knew I had a grandson in the first place. Will she ever forgive us? I even know I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Mm. 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 
I know I'm not worthy to be called your mother-in-law because of the way I treated you. All my son and I want from you now is your forgiveness. Please, if there is anything we can do to make up for this, we will definitely do it. Be calm. I beg of you, my daughter. If all of you have gathered here for me to listen to these lame excuses, count me out. My daughter, sit down. Sit down. Hear them out. Let's know why they are here. If not for anything, for my sake, please, my daughter. No amount of excuse will justify my action. I know I will. I will forever live with the guilt of what I did. But please, I need your forgiveness. Please, give me a second chance to make up for my wrongdoings towards you, please. Second chance, you said? Did you give me a second chance on what happened before now? No. You acted like a saint and treated me like the worst sinner on earth. And you are here looking for a second chance. Day and night I pray for God to bless me with a child. Because I didn't want to lose you, nor my marriage. Jen, please forgive me for the sake of God. Acknowledge me as the father of your child, please. I will no longer fail you again, please. Be cool. Jen, my daughter. For the sake of your child, David, forgive Kelvin. Let the past remain in the past. Remember, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. Give him another chance to right the wrong he made. Adugum, I'm a legend here. Ebulu ni si ona nyu, adovana anetiwa. Ofungu avya mbani ine ne kwon. Ebulu ni one. So na really miss you. I am so 
sorry. <laughs>